if you experience that your computer is slowing down and that um, the computer itself is hot if you uh, and also the fan is uh, always spinning it's um, a good sign that you need to put a thermal paste it between the heat sink and the CPU mm, right now this uh, my computer this is a Dell uh, Vostro and it is um, a little bit hot somewhere in the in the fan area so let me show you how to put a thermal paste as well as a thermal pad on the video chip then you have to remove the fan and the heatsink this section here is the heatsink the heatsink is um, a part of the machine a computer that absorbs heat from the CPU and the video chip or the GPU okay. especially for those people who experience that their machine is slowing down it's most likely that your and and the fan keeps on um, uh, running that's one sign that you need to put in the thermal paste look at this this is the paste that was uh, on the CPU earlier it looks like it's already um, it's, it's, it's already worn out so you have to put uh, a new one this this one is a thermal pad. Thermal pad is um, the the part that uh, is uh, on that is placed on the on the video chip, so that the the heat coming from the video chip is transferred also to the heat sink. Um, let me show you um, the thermal face there are different brands of thermal paste uh, what I have here is a um, is our Antac Dynatron and also Arctic Silver so to put a put it on top of the CPU and now um, for and also on the heat sink you should also put a thermal paste you make it even so that uh, it's gonna lay flat on the CPU and also um, the video chip or the GPU is also um, producing um, heat so you can put a um, thermal pad a thermal pad looks like this 
this is thermophyte I, I bought this earlier so actually you can buy uh, this from uh, some uh, dealers online and um, if you go to my blog you can find uh, a link there where you can buy uh, the thermal pads thermal pads can can make your GPU um, last longer because because what happens is that some GPU now we go to the thermal pad we'll just remove this thermal pad okay that belongs to the GPU or graphics uh, processor unit and the other one is for the controller board uh, controller chip so what I usually do I cut a portion this thermal pad put it on top of the center area that is where the processor is located and also chip Some some controller chips don't have the uh, the thermal pad. So, but this uh, this uh, laptop has a, uh, a, a thermal pad on it. So I, I just follow what the original um, configuration. So now I put back the heat sink. This is a good maintenance routine for your uh, notebook. It will um, prolong the CPU at the same time the video chip. Uh, some video chips, especially NVIDIA, they they produce um, heat um, very fast. So you need it is a mask that you put. Um, thermal pads on, on, on NVIDIA chip and that's the reason why um, for, so for some uh, cases where you don't have any more video display it's just because the video chip is, uh, is either burned or detached from the motherboard you know when the especially the NVIDIA when they heat up since they are surface mount that means they are um, um, solder just on top of the on the bo of the board. So when they heat up, what happens is that when they heat up, the body also heats up. So when it expand when it expands, the video chip itself is detached from the motherboard, and that's the reason why you you don't have any uh, display on the screen. The screen is blank. It's just because the GPU itself is is no longer connected on the board. There's some there's some tutorials you can you can find online how to uh, to flow solder the the video chip, but um, in this uh, tutorial I'm, I'm just showing you how to put in the thermal thermal paste at the same time the thermal pad. So I'm done. Please make sure that um, you put back uh, all the screws uh, tightly, but not so so much. Just hand tight is uh, enough. And then uh, the fan too connect it properly and then I'm pretty sure this will cool cool down the the heat um, the heat that, that that your system is producing so so that that's it uh, please check my other tips on how to maintain your uh, your system, your laptop, uh, so that you it, it you can prolong the life the lifespan of your notebook. Thank you so much for watching this this video.